Hello and welcome back. In the previous lesson, we implemented authentication. In this lesson, we will look at authorization. Now, just to recap, authentication is about making sure the user is who they say they are. You're providing your identity with something like a username and a password. Authorization decides what parts of the application the user is allowed to use. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to set up middleware to grant or forbid users access to various parts of application. I am in Next.js Cognito OAuth project in branch 3 authorization start. The final result of this lesson is in 3 authorization end branch. If you would like to follow along, please clone this repo. The link to the repository is in the description. Let's do a little refresher and take a look at the diagram. Middleware in Next.js runs on the server side. So the client passes cookies to the server, so the middleware knows about the authenticated user. Before we create middleware, however, we're going to make the Amplify library to get that authenticated user. So let's go to utils, amplify server utils.ts file that we created earlier. Amplify provides Next.js adapters, so we can call amplify methods in the server context and don't worry about dealing with the cookies. Let's go ahead and import next server. Next, we're going to import fetch auth session and get current user, and we are going to be importing it from AWS amplify slash auth slash server. And this is important because we're going to be calling this on the server side. And now let's go ahead and create an export function called authenticated user. We pass context to this function, and this can be an object with request and response or an object with a cookies. We will call the function run with amplify server context. This function will take an object as an argument. The first will be next server context where we pass the context. And the second um, property of this object will be operation. And it will be an async function where we get a context spec. First, we're going to call fetch auth session function from AWS Amplify library, the server side, right? And we're going to pass it context spec. And this function will give us session. So it's going to use the cookies and then return us the session. And if that session doesn't have tokens, then we're just simply going to return. If there are tokens, then we're going to attempt to get a current user. And we're going to be using get current user function from AWS Amplify library passing again context spec because we are on the server side. And then we also add our own property. It's going to be uh, is admin false. Next, we're going to check tokens on the session. And specifically, we're going to check access token and see if its payload has property cognito column groups. This property appears on the token if a group is created in cognito user pool and user is added to the group. Then we're going to check if those groups array includes admins group. And this group we're going to create incognito in a little bit. So, and if it does, then we assign user is admin to true. And finally, we're going to return user. And obviously, if something's happened, we're going to catch an error and console log it. Now let's go ahead and create the actual middleware. So in the SRC folder, we're going to create a new file and call it middleware. Dot .cs and we're going to put the following code in there so middleware in next.js exports middleware function and also it exports config config defines what routes to apply middleware to and in our case we have match all requests path except for the one starting with and we have starting with API underscore next slash static or underscore next slash image or the PNG files. Middleware function is where the middleware logic happens. Middleware takes next request as a parameter and we're going to assign next response dot next to the response. We also going to get the user by calling the function that we created authenticated user and we're going to pass a context to it. In this case, we have request and response. So we're going to be passing an object with a request and response. We're also going to define uh, two constants is on dashboard. And that's when the path or route starts with slash dashboard. 
and then is an admin area. That's where the path starts with slash dashboard slash admins. Then we're going to do some logic with if statements. So we're going to check if, you know, the user is on a dashboard page and we have authenticated user, or in our case, if we don't have authenticated user, we're just going to redirect user to the login. And then we're also going to check if we're on the admin area and we, and the user that we have is not admin because we already checked, right? At this point, we have a user, but if this user is not admin, we'll just redirect that user to the dashboard page, right? And then if everything passes, we will return response and response is next response dot next. So we'll just pass the code to the next stack. Uh, and then also in else if statement, we're going to check if we actually have the user, right? The user is authenticated. So we're going to redirect the user to dashboard. For example, if user going to try to go to the login page, right? But user is already logged in. We don't want to user to go to that logged in, in page, right? We just want to redirect them straight to dashboard. And that's it for the middleware. Now, remember we had that auto sign in option set to true incognito actions, right? Well, it's time to use this function now that we have the middleware in place. Let's go to leap cognito actions. And right here, we can import auto sign in function. So let's do auto sign in. And then we're going to scroll all the way down where we call handle confirm sign up. And after confirm sign up function is called, we can put auto sign in and then it will get redirected automatically to the dashboard because the user will be already signed in. Now let's go to Cognito user pool and create that admins group. As you can see, we already ha have one user in here. This is from the previous lesson. So let's go ahead and click on the groups and then we're going to call create group and the group name will be admins with a capital A. We need to spell it the same way we did in the code. And everything else we'll just uh, leave as is. All right, the group is created. Let's click on this group. And then we're going to add user to this group. And we can add this single user, right? So let's click add. And this user now is admin. Let's go ahead and test our code. Let's run npm run dev. And we're going to go and switch again to the browser. And we're going to create one more user. So we need to delete this email in the temp mail. And then it's going to give us a new email. So let's go ahead and use this email uh, to create another user. Let's go to our sign up page. Let's paste the email and enter name. And then we're going to enter password. All right, let's click create account. Okay, now we need to confirm this account. Let's enter email again, and then I'm gonna go and check if we got the code. And we got the verification code. Let's click on it, copy it, and then I'm gonna paste it in here. All right, let's click confirm, and we should be redirected to the dashboard page because we don't need to sign in since we're using uh, auto sign in. So right here, I also put an admin area and since our user is not an admin, so this user shouldn't be able to access this page. So let's click on it. And as you can see, we are still staying on the dashboard. So the middleware works just fine. Now let's go ahead and uh, remove the dashboard and try to go to the index page. And as you can see, we're getting redirected to the dashboard again since we're logged in. Let's go ahead and sign out. And now let's attempt uh, to get to the dashboard. And again, we're going to be redirected to the login page because we are not signed in. Let's go back to the code and take a look at that admin area link. So let's go to the UI and then we can go to the dashboard and there is a side nav right over here. And as you can see, it uses the nav links right here. So we can go to the nav links and we are in the nav links component, right? So that the links are generated through the array, right? There is home, there is a invoices dashboard, this page doesn't exist. There is also customers, which is doesn't exist. And then we checking, right? If it is true. So we're going to show the admin link, right? The admin area. And if you're going to go to the dashboard, right in the pages, 
uh, we can see there is admins page, but currently it just says admin area. So my point here is if we know who the user is, meaning whether the user is admin or not, we don't have to show this admin uh, link, right? We can just hide it for non-admin users and then we can show it for admin users. So let's do exactly just that. So if we go back to navlinks.tsx file, right? What we're going to be doing, we're going to be checking right here. If the user is admin, then we're going to push that link in. If not, we're not going to do it. We already got the authenticated user on the back end in the middleware. So we're going to be doing similar thing on the front end. So, and for that, we can use a custom hooks, right? So let's go ahead in the app folder. We can create a new folder called hooks. And in this folder, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it use auth user dot tsx and it's going to be our hook right so let's go ahead and place the following code in this custom hook all right so let's take a look what we're going to be doing so we're going to be importing fetch auth session fetch user attributes and get current current user and we're going to be importing in from aws amplify slash auth and since we're on the client side, we don't have to put slash server and pass any context to it. And we're going to import use effect and use state from the React. So first, we're going to have our state user and set user and user will be record string any. And then we're going to have use effect and we're going to have a function get user. So in this function, we'll basically get auth session, right? The same way we did in the back end in the middleware. It will check if there are tokens in this session. And of course, if not, it's going to return undefined, right? And if there is a user, so we're going to get current user and we're also going to get user attributes because later on in the next lesson, we'll actually need user attributes. We're going to look at how to change them. And then again, we're going to have is admin assigned to false. And then we're going to check the groups on the access token. And if they exist and one of them is admins, we will assign is admin to true. And then we're going to set user and we're going to set that user in our use state. Finally, let's update navlinks component to use this custom hook, right? So we're going to import it. Let's get this user from auth user auth user, right? Const user equals to use auth user. All right. And now in this if statement, we can check if user is admin, right? Let's go ahead and save changes. So now we'll go back to the browser and now we can see that that link actually disappeared. So the user is not an admin, so we're not showing that admin link. So let's go ahead and sign out. And now we can go back to our user pool, right? And we know that uh, the second user, right? This one is an admin. So let's go ahead, copy uh, this email and try to log in with this user. And then we're going to put the password. Let's click login. And as you can see, it logged us in. And we do have right here uh, the admin area, right? And if we click on this admin area, it should let us go into this admin area. And this is it for this lesson. So we learned how to get authenticated user using AWS Amplify library on both Next.js server and client. And we use this authenticated user or the lack of it to protect our routes in the middleware and conditionally display UI. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next lesson where we will look at how to update user attributes.